Dividing fractions like two thirds divided by five sevenths. This type of a scenario is often a little mysterious in how we approach it simply by saying reciprocate the second fraction and change it to multiplication. So we're often told just to change it to multiplication and reciprocate to a 7 fifths. And what we end up with in this case is a 14 over a 15. Not so wild. But why do we do that? It seems arbitrary. Well, I'm going to write this a little bit differently. A 2 thirds divided by a 5 over 7. And what we're essentially trying to accomplish is to combine things together and get rid of some denominators and make a single fraction with a single denominator. In getting us to a single denominator, well, we have to get rid of some denominators. So I'm actually going to multiply this fraction by this entire operation fraction by a 3 over a 3. What that is trying to accomplish is to cancel out one of the denominators. And we did that. Also going to multiply this by another fraction, you guessed it, a 7 over a 7. Why? Because now I could cancel the 7 on the bottom with that 7 that's kind of on the top of the bottom. If we look at what's left over, we have a 2 over a 5, and multiplying by a 7 on the top and a 3 on the bottom. And this kind of gives us the same result. 2 times 7, 14. 3 times 5, a 15. The same result. So what we're trying to do is to get rid of the denominator 3 by multiplying by 3 over 3, multiply by a 7 over 7 to get rid of that 7, and what's kind of left over is the reciprocal of the second one. So we do end up with a 7 over 5, 7 over a 5 that's sort of left over, and the 2 thirds, 2 thirds, is again sort of left over. So this is another way of looking at dividing fractions without reciprocating.